Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm your host, Brad the Green Knight of the Co-op Knights. Last time we left off, we found ourselves in the lava lakes just beneath the inactive lava zone. Uh, for some reason, as soon as I loaded up the game, it's, it finds itself quite dark, even though like, I step outside and those lava flows are certainly glowing, but none of the rest of the lava is lit up, so it's, it, it's quite dark down here. But luckily we have our trusty sonar. Yeah, we're still in the same place. So I did a little bit of research between episodes and found that we're actually going a little too fast. Or not fast, but far. Um, that giant uh, gathering of rocks in the middle of the inactive lava zone that we saw, that dragon swimming around, we need to go back up there because that is called the Lava Castle. And in there is the alien power facility that powers all all of the different alien facilities across the planet and there's a couple of items and scannables we need to get in there before we investigate the alien containment facility which is down in the lava lakes here with us which is what that uh that little piece of alien tech that i noticed in the lava last episode that is apparently like i guess a part of the power source that goes to the alien containment facility but uh we can't go there just yet there's a few things we need to go back up to the alien power plant to get um, in order to access the alien containment facility. Lot, lots of lots of words being thrown about with apparently no meaning. But that means we got to go back up to where that other dragon was and see if we can find a way into the lava castle without, I don't know, uh, irritating the hell out of that dragon. Engine so let's fire it up here. See if we can find our way back up to the layer above us without pissing off this the dragon ow what's stuck on us flash that shield really quick make sure there's no lava larva around us all right so we're gonna go this way okay things are lighting up again good actually let's keep that active just to make sure we can spot the other dragon that's down here get away from him if needed good everything's all nice and lit up Oh yeah, you can see barely off to the right side of the screen over there, that is the alien containment facility, but we can't go in there just yet, we need to go back up, find the alien power plant. I hear that dragon. But he doesn't seem to be pursuing us, so we're safe. Holy, there he is. Ooh, he's close. He looks mad. Let's see if we can gain some distance on him. See if he swims away a little bit before we emerge from this little cavern of ours. That's the lava castle. And somewhere, there's an entrance for us. Where? I do not know. But I hate how this guy's kind of f circling us. Oh shit. Pause. Okay, he's just investigating. He's not irritated at us yet. Okay, I think I think I see him way off in the distance there. He's leaving us alone a little bit. That's good. We have a little bit of time to find... Oops. Ah, uh, let's get you off. There we go. Yeah, we need to find this entrance, wherever it is. And I believe it's supposed to look like some sort of gateway because you know if they build a facility inside this giant natural structure of course they're gonna build a doorway for it yep this is the doorway I was looking for all right so we're gonna try and park this thing we'll keep an eye out for the big guy he's not around that's good now, of course we're whoops I think I clipped something but anyway let's get close so he doesn't try to attack the Cyclops just because it's here. Although I think he's he's an, a guy who's irritated by sound, so it shouldn't be that bad. Let's kill Sonar, kill Engine. Powering down. Uh, let's stop working for Silent Running, because, you know, when he's... Get off! There we go. Hop down and investigate. There we go, that helps us. Oof. 
didn't want a warper sneaking up on us, did we? Whew! Hot, 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 hot. What's this? What is this? A creature a egg. Which has formed in this area can be Crystal and sulfur. That's going to be useful. And 3, Earth years ago. That's cool. And it looks like in here the temperature is just low enough for us to survive with our suit, so that's good. But we'll. S Ooh, another creature egg. Grab these. What was that? Aha! I think we found it. We should get in there quickly. I hear machinery working in there. Now we need to find the doorway. Which, knowing these alien facilities, there's a doorway on the side of it somewhere. Aha! Oh, fuck! No! Prawn suit! Get back here! Holy crap. I know, I know. Oh shoot, can I not have my vehicle in here? Shit. Well. Band on the prone seat. Get inside this way. Okay, oof. So that's cool, it's a shield that keeps the water out. All right, well, I think the prawn suit will be safe down there. The I don't think the creatures will attack it. What the? Let's get out the propulsion cannon. Just in case. Whew. Okay, so I can only scan those things before I destroy them. All right, let's find out what one of those was. What do we need here? Purple tablet, which luckily for me, I have one. Alien robot, huh? I don't care if you're friendly or not. I'm not gonna, you know, injure myself finding out. What's this? A blue tablet. I think this is what we need in order to get into the alien containment facility down below. Awesome sauce. But just because I have that doesn't mean I'm going to stop exploring. Let's see what else we can find out. Oh! Come here to me. I'm guessing you're talking about the alien containment facility. Well, okay. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Okay, so how do I... Huh. It looks like it's kind of like one of those giant resource deposits, which I would need the drill to get, but I can't seem to get the guy in here. Oh, I can insert an ion cube down in here. We'll find out what that does later, when we are able to get one. Ooh, what's this? A data terminal. Fossil data. Integrating new PDA data. Mass extinction event. They might be referencing the, uh... Ooh, an ion cube. Yay! Oh, I need to put another purple tablet in here. I need to get in here. But now that we have an ion cube... Let's go up and put that ion cube in that slot that we found. See where that... What that does for us. But anyway, that data was talking about a mass extinction level event. I wonder if it's talking about the release of the Kara. Ooh! Hello, pretty lights. Ew, it's gelatin-like. Oh, shit. Whoa. Um. That was cool. Where are we this time? Oh, I think I know where this is. This is the, um, the defense array thing. I hear you, I hear you. Seek calorie intake immediately. Now that I know where we are, I know where we can go to get food really quickly, which is just outside by the 
by the beach. Wait, do I go downstairs or upstairs for that? Oh. Ow! Yeah, I think we're heading towards the exit, which means there should be some of those Bulbo plants out here. Yep. Here we go. We can use those for, uh, get those for food. Good. We're all full up. Now, what does this being here mean? Is that, is that just like a quick escape route kind of thing? You know, I wonder, because we found a bunch of our purple uh, tablets up here, I wonder if we can explore the island to find more. I'm going to give the island a quick look-see, which might take a minute. Um, if something happens, uh, I'll snap the camera back to it, but otherwise I'll see you guys in a minute. And welcome back, everybody. After a little bit of searching and some research, I did find that there was a purple tablet that I had missed at one point. So I got that guy right here. So let's head back onto the thermal plant and unlock that one door that we couldn't get through earlier. And plop down. I need to find a way to get the prawn suit in here in order to get this ion cube pyramid, because that's a lot of ion cubes I could use. You know, it's very possible that I can get the prawn suit in here pretty easily. I was just like clipping it on the edge of the doorway or something like that without realizing it. But, you know. We'll just chalk that up to me being dumb. Alright, purple tablet goes in the purple uh, thingy. <laughs> it's early morning when I'm recording this. I'm kind of tired. Let's see, we got a data thing right here. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so this is the data on primary the primary containment facility. facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Okay, so that's detailing the place that we were near before when we left off last episode. So we gotta go back down there. Alien thermal plant. And then what's this orange data thing up here? Ion power data. Integrating new PDA data. Synthesizing ion power blueprints for Malian data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Okay, so this is how I'm able to craft um, ion power cells and ion batteries. Because remember that one that we found? We must have found it in a... Uh, time capsule or something like that, and we applied it to our sea glide. Well, now I have the capability of making those. I want to see if there is a way to get the prawn suit up in here. There's got to be. Okay, so we can get it in here. I'm dumb. Forgive me, everybody. I feel like this ion cube pyramid. All right, we just got a buttload of ion cubes. Now let's get out of here and head back to the Cyclops. I want to get you for food. New creature discovered. Sweet. Now let's park the prawn suit and move on to the primary containment facility. All right, there's a little cave entrance down there. Wait, can the Cyclops fit down there? And is that the way we want to go? Or did we go into the wrong opening? We might have gotten to the wrong opening, but let's find out. Oh, oh, this is where we were parked last time, I think. Maybe, yep, or it's adjacent to it. Okay, so that was another way in. I don't see the dragon. We may be in the clear. Let's just get to the mouth of the facility really quick. Pop in the prawn suit, go straight inside. No lollygagging. Enter prawn suit. Whew! And we are safe. Now, I'm not so sure that our Cyclops will survive if we just leave it out there, but oh. What are you doing? I, I think he's actually way back there instead of up on the Cyclops. So, yeah, he's not interested. Okay. We're good. 
blue tablet. Here's what we needed it for. Force field down. Oh, cool. So when you get out of the prawn suit when you're on land, it kind of sits down for you. That's neat. Need a little. Oh. Broadcast. Warning: Vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. That must be in accordance to that one protocol that we saw. Let's get out of here and scan a few things. Ion cube fabricator. I'm not that smart, but I'm guessing ion cube fabricator makes ion cubes. Let's take care of these guys real quick. I'm tired of them clinking around, potentially destroying me. What is... Whoa! What the... Whoa! What is that? What is that? that those fireballs coming in. They look like the shots from a... Uh, from a... Uh, the dragon. Okay, so I approach and you get lower. Why? Oh, so I can drill you. I think I'm good on ion cubes for right now, though. Looks like we got some green, a green data hologram to grab up here. Let's see what that's all about. Enzyme 42 project data. New PDA data. Okay, so that explains why they captured the Leviathan that seems to be talking to me. So that explains why they captured the Sea Emperor Leviathan, because it seems to produce an enzyme that inhibits the function of the Kara virus. What is this? Preserved fetus. Sea Emperor fetus? Ew. Found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the... What was that? Whoa! Okay, I think the um, the sea dra the dragon leviathan is glitching through the facility a little bit. I'm not supposed to be able to see it from in here. Looks like here's some storage cases. Stop firing fireballs at me when I'm not even outside. And what's in this case? Per her preserved egg casing. This is probably an egg casing for the sea emperor. Yep. Just as I thought. So yeah, they, they were putting this Sea Emperor under intensive study to see if it could be used to combat the Kara. But then that Sea Dragon, unfortunately, broke down into the containment facility and let the Kara loose, nearly destroying the planet in the process. Where's this corridor go? Ooh, it's a portal. It's a portal room. Oh, let's definitely grab uh, some of those ion cubes then and stick one of those in there, see where that leads. Cool. Ion cubes grabbed. Whoa! That was startling. Okay, so I guess that's how it fabricates the ion cubes. It's building them after you collect them all. Oh yeah, let's see where this portal leads. Whoa. I think I recognize where this is. I think this is... Okay, that's probably part of that one island. Yeah, I think we're on the mount on the uh, mountain island again. Let's explore and see what's up. Oh, that. Oh, okay. So this is a cave that I have not stumbled upon yet. But I guess it's another way to lead outside. That's cool. And plop down we are. Alright, 
let's check out the other uh, the other rooms attached to this central area. Should be six in total, I think. Where's this lead? This way. Oh, what? Inflow pipe. Peepers entering the containment facility? Oh yeah, this probably links up to one of those uh, vents that, those alien vents that we see on the surface. Or at least on the uh, ocean floor out there. And then an outflow pipe. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. Okay, cool. So the idea is this little mechanism here is infusing incoming peepers with enzyme... What was it, 14? 42. With enzyme 42, and then after purging their stomach contents, it shoots them straight back out, hoping to, I guess, in long term, cure the Kara virus, uh, bacteria out there. That, that seems to explain why they've survived for so long. Ventilation control. Integrating new PDA data. And what's behind this room? Another portal, huh? Where's this lead? And we're at another cave. I wonder if this is another underwater cave like before. Oh, yep, this is definitely another underwater cave. 229 meters down. So it looks like there's just a bunch of these underwater caves that make it easier to access out. Easier to access the primary containment facility. Let's head back. And now the three rooms on the other side. Actually, first let's grab some more ion cubes really quick. Welcome to hold, Captain. You don't want to stand in that when it's forming new ion cubes. Another portal room. Probably leading to another underwater cave like the last two. Now we're 613 meters down. Wherever it's depositing us. Huh. The walls of this system look strange. And yet, oddly familiar. There's Brian. Bet if I were to stand on that, I'd be burned. Oh, yeah, this is the Lost River. I wonder where at in the Lost River this is. That'd be cool to find. But that means we can return to our um, deep sea base pretty quickly. Back to the primary containment facility. Two more rooms to explore. Ooh. This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Okay, that's freaking cool. So we must already know what most of these eggs are if we can't scan them. Ooh. Data terminal. Sea Emperor Leviathan research data.
Might be boring to some of you guys, but this stuff is this is incredible to me. All sorts of wild and wacky creatures. Probably some sampler device of some kind. Well, that's pretty cool. One more room to go. It's probably another portal room, but it's still worth checking. Yep. <laughs> Definitely another portal room. Let's see where this one leads. And this one. Huh. We got a bunch of cave crawlers around here. Spider robots. I wonder where this leads. Oh, yep, another. Ooh! Hello, Bone Shark. Ooh. Whoa! What the fuck? What are you. What? What is a bone shark doing in here? Anyway, let's head back into the portal. <laughs> that was a little freaky. And somewhat startling. I have no clue where that portal or where that door leads out of, but I know I don't want to go back there. And we're back. Huh? <clears throat> Ow. Apparently I can't take jumps very well. Can't take much from a knife. What is beyond this door? Can't quite make it out. It needs a blue tablet, huh? I don't have a blue tablet. I do have an orange tablet. I wonder what that's used for. But we now know how to make blue tablets. So I think here is the perfect place to call break time. Let's make our way back out to the wait. Oh, that's the door. Yeah, let's go back and see if we can make... Find some kyanite, which, you know, we're down in the lava zone. It should be pretty easy to find. I'll grab some more of this iron cube here. But I'm going to call it here. I need to go get myself something to eat. And we have definitely exceeded my recording time. So thank you all so much for joining me on another episode of Subnautica. We're, di we're unraveling mysteries and discovering how the heck we're going to get off this planet. Avoiding danger at every turn. Or, whoa! That was a big roar. Um, or, I guess we're also finding it every turn, too. But, uh, for now, I will see you guys later. Take care now.